Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna share with you three things that you need to consider before you buy anything guitar related. The reason why that's important is because it's going to affect your wallet. So the first thing I wanted to share with you is to understand your context. For me, as a professional musician, I would consider that because the insurance company where I try to insure my guitars said that I am a guitar professional guitar player, which is kind of wild to think about that. But my context is I play in, in church. I, I play in uh, in recording here in this in this studio for my, for my church. I'm a worship leader, I'm a worship pastor. And um, whenever I'm looking for gear, I'm looking for something that's gonna help me. So this is the first thing you need to know, is your context. What context are you gonna be playing in? For instance, when you first started playing guitar, if you remember that, or if you're starting right now and you're trying to figure this out, if you have an acoustic guitar and you don't have, uh, let's say, an electric pickup inside the acoustic guitar, your next purchase more than likely will be to either figure out a new guitar that will has the electronics built into it, or you're looking for something like a new pickup that's designed to be put into the guitar that, that you know and that you love. When you're doing that, you have to consider, like, are you gonna be playing this thing all the time? Or are you gonna be playing this thing on the weekends, just for fun? What is your context? For me, I'm constantly moving stuff around here in the studio. I'm constantly using stuff like pedals and all this other things. But I always wanna make sure that whatever I buy, I'm going to actually use, right? I'll give you an example. Um, when uh, I went and bought a, a mountain bike, at the Walmart, yes, I bought a mountain bike at the Walmart uh, this many years ago. It was super fancy, it had all the springs, it had all the shocks in it, I thought this was cool. And uh, they're really designed to be uh, ridden around the neighborhood. Because when I took it on the trails near my house, um, that bike literally fell apart. Because that bike looked good, but it wasn't in the right context. The whole thing just kind of fell apart. So what is your context? You have to ask yourself that question because it's going to drive what it is that you're going to buy. A lot of YouTube influencers, people who are, are featuring products on their channels, a lot of them get paid or it's a, it's a commercial or something like that. I don't have that, I'm a small little channel. I, I just wanna share with you my experience that your context is important. Now their context might be different, so they might be uh, maybe featuring uh, in a pedal that is really, really good for them in their context, but for you it may not be, right? So just don't buy something because um, you saw it on YouTube or something like that. Really think about it. And the second thing is, when you're thinking about your context, what is your budget? Because some of this stuff is really, really expensive. I can remember when I first started playing uh, two decades ago over that, um, you had to buy individual pedals, especially for acoustic guitar, to get kind of started. Now you've got all kinds of things. It's a beautiful, wonderful environment, but just like um, that mountain bike experience that I was telling you about, like just because it's cheap or cheaper doesn't mean that it's actually gonna be good. So watch what happens online. Look at Reverb, for instance. Watch the sale price of, of the items that you're looking for to see if they've maintained their value or if they're, they're going down in value. This is a wonderful time to be a guitar player but it's very, very difficult to kind of vet through all the stuff, all the products that are coming out. Um, you almost feel the need to like, I know I do, like I just wanna buy that, I wanna buy this, I wanna buy that, and that's, that leads to the third point, is just be patient. Consider your context, look at your budget, and be patient. You don't have to buy that next thing. Although I know some of y'all who are watching, you're like, you, you need to buy it, you know? Um, you, you're saving up for it, you're ready to go buy something. I have a buddy of mine, uh, Sam, what's up Sam? He's been on a couple of videos that we've done uh, in the past, um, so uh, check him out. But he's got a lot of gear, he loves gear, and he tells me all about it. So he brings over his, his guitars and stuff that he's kind of looked at, and uh, that's kind of like a hobby for him. But he always stays within his budget, or he tries to. His wife actually kind of keeps him un under wraps. So what's up, Becca? Uh, but she's making sure that he stays within his budget, and he, she, and that he's making a right decision on, in his context. So be patient. Don't get overwhelmed. Like you have to do this. Just wait. Just sit back. 
Uh, if you don't know what to do about buying something, then don't buy anything at all. That's one of the, the, the rules that I've had uh, for, for many, many years. And that's in a lot of things. That's not only in life, in the guitar world, but that's also in, in life as well. This channel is designed to help you kind of vet through all that information, uh, become a better guitar player, to, uh, to play what you feel, but also to understand that this world of guitar and music is a diverse world and there's a lot of influences out there. So um, make sure that you're always in, in, understand your context, your budget, and also make sure if uh, you need to make sure that you're being patient. Because if you're not, uh, just kind of take a step back because you'll, you'll, uh, your wallet will, <laughs> will feel it in the end if you don't. So we'll see you in the next video.